we are here with Life is Strange episode 3. Um, so if you haven't watched my previous um, two episodes then they will be down below uh, so that you can see the choices that we made. I don't know if uh, clicking on choices will actually show you them. Uh, so yeah, so here's just a little update on the choices um, that happened when I played it. So you told Kate to go to the police. Um, you answered Kate's call. You didn't try to shoot Frank. You couldn't save Kate, which I am so upset about. But um, why is this? I think I've got, um, I don't know why it thinks I've got this, but I don't. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go back. Ah, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, uh, so you blamed Nathan. Um, so those are the choices that we made. Um, I'm so sad that we couldn't save Kate though because I really would have liked to but I don't want to uh, go back and redo it so I'm, I do want to see how it plays out this way because I know a lot of people did save her because uh, 64% did so my, uh, this might make things a little bit different for this let's play, play compared to others i guess uh so in the first episodes we had the truth you made fun of victoria you invented to um introverted to help out kate intervened to help out kate oh my gosh i can't talk today and you stayed hidden so i think we did pretty good uh so let's go back and we'll go ahead and play episode three chaos theory i'm so excited to do this so excited. I know you have been waiting so long for it as well. In the previous episodes oh, of Life in the previous is Strange. Oh. They call film little pieces of time. Maybe because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> We're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> what are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Alright, so I'm so excited to see how this one goes, but um, I just remember there now that we are going to have to turn the music off because unfortunately in the last couple episodes we kept getting uh, copyrighted, so <laughs> that, that's made me kind of upset that we're going to have to do that, but... Mm. Oh, we have Kate's rabbit. Oh, that makes me excited. It's so cute. Kate! Oh.
I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Well, we ain't going anywhere. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. Uh, with a... It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. First, uh, firstly, I want to just quickly go to settings and... Oh, we've already turned them off. Okay. We good. Alright, um, we're gonna go see this rabbit because... I'm not going anywhere without being Are my damn hungry, rabbit. Bunny? Here, not on this. My cat's eating in the background too. Uh, okay, the plant, because let's look at it. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. I can't even keep my plant alive, much less Kate. What? Seriously? I thought we were doing good by water in it. <laughs> well, there's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Well, now I'm just mad to be the damned plant. Because I thought I was doing so well looking after it and remembering to water it each episode. Obviously, I didn't. <sighs> Let's use this. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. No. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Hmm. This is such a moving piece of cut and paste black robe bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. <laughs> too little, too late. Okay. So, dear, Miss, uh, dear Max Caulfield, as you're no doubt aware, Blackwell Academy lost the valued and beloved student this week with the tragic death of Kate Marsh. Everyone we encountered Kate from faulty, uh, from facile, oh my gosh, from facile to student body. Remember her as a kind, intelligent and talented person with a big future. The staff of Blackwell Academy upstairs uh, understands the social and academic uh, trauma that comes with a public incident such as this and we believe it's vital that we hear directly from the students about their thoughts and concerns. We encourage you to call our 24-hour hotline to speak with a professional counsellor uh, no matter what your question or situation might be. In other words, Blackwell Academy has your back. Principal Wills. Whatever. Can I not look at these? Oh, I can't look at them. Okay. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Oh my gosh, Victoria's even on there. Taylor and Courtney. Alyssa did like her, to be fair, so that's... Yeah, he, she can be there, right? <laughs> Just Victorian Taylor and Courtner. Courtner? Courtney, though. All right, let's move. Either next. I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Um, okay, so epic fall. Maybe you shouldn't have helped Kate. When we lose a game, nobody dies. Just seeing you. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. What a bitch. Okay, back. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Okay, we'll open this drawer. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Okay. Okay, head back. Alright, I think we're about ready to go. I'm not putting the hi-fi on. We've looked at the laptop. We've fed the rabbit. Hopefully we don't have to overfeed it. We don't overfeed it. Like we overwatered. Let's look at the bed. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Okay, let's use the mirror. Come on, Max. No more tears. 
You have to act, not react. Okay, uh, we don't need to look at the timetable. Let's leave the room then. Okay, so this is scary dark. Let there be... Okay, uh, so... Wherever you go, there I am. Oh, looks like... Oh, look. She's got a little shrine. I'm sorry, Kate. We love you. So much hypocrite. Yup. Okay, let's look at this tape. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. And somebody pays. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Okay. Um... I don't know if there is anywhere we should be going. We don't need to look at the poster. Or the poster there. I don't think we have to go in here. But, oh, Taylor's in here. Hang on. Maybe, yeah, we should just explore everywhere. So, I don't know if we could talk to her. Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. Um, I kind of want to blame her, but I don't want to be mean because she does look upset. And it's mostly Victoria that's the bad one. So I think we're going to come for her. I can. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just like numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Uh, okay. Where did she go? Where did she go? My lips are like sealed. Or Victoria will seal them for me. No doubt. See you later. Hmm. I don't know why I should rewind that. Let's see if we could find out where Victoria went. Yeah, I'm a rewind. Okay, let's see. Bit further, bit further. Ah, okay, right, let's uh, speak with her again. Hey, Max. I, I saw you. Okay. Let's uh, mention Victoria sneaking out now. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And I hope you're okay, too. You were the only one who tried to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okay, so she still didn't know where Victoria was. So, out of order. Take it. We can't go for a shower. Oh, we can. We can. We can totally go for a shower. Well, um, we don't really need a shower, do we? <laughs> uh, sorry, Kate. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Sure. Uh, let me just, um, look at the stuff in her room first. <laughs> this is both sad and pathetic. Alright, that was in the last episode, so we don't need to worry about that. She's got a little sticker. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Can we use our PC? Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Hey, Good for Dana. Oh. Hey, Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and now how shitty it was to see Kate um, 
jump from the roof today. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want to know uh, you to know that you were a good friend to her and I wish you had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up and I am here for you always. I miss you, Trev. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper and I wanted oh my goodness <clears throat> and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Alright. Okay, let's talk to Dana because she looks upset. Let's speak up. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. <sighs> we're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Mm, you were nice. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if we could rewind that and see again if we could find out where Victoria went. Just see if it makes any difference. Okay. Right, let's try now. Hey, Dana. Her I just can't stop thinking about Kate. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with the same thing again because I, I think like we're those all answers. Not you, Max. Okay. Yeah, we're. It doesn't we're change nice anything. Okay. Hell, that Dana. All right. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan? Okay, let's actually say I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now... Okay. Not me. There we go. So we're all caught up. Um, so I'm gonna... I guess we're gonna meet... Um, what does that say? My prayers for you, Kate. Miss you, Kate. Okay. Uh, let's go meet, um, let's leave. Okay. Let's leave and we'll go meet Chloe. Those little bugs are kind of weird. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Okay, I don't really know where that is, but, um, oh, there's another little memorial, so we'll look at that. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Okay. Um, let's head out this way. Did I just hear someone talk? I, I could have sworn I just heard something, but what the hell is that? Hang on. <laughs> Why? <gasps> The most magical insects. Burn bright. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Maybe he should. Okay, let's go see what that says. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Okay. So it looks like we are going... Oh, maybe it was him that I heard. Oh, we've got uh, some new messages. So, let's uh, 
grow up. Let's find out what's going on together is the last one we've seen. So, hey Max, you're thinking about, um, just thinking about you, you want me to leave you alone. Uh, shaking with nerves, I'm sorry, but you did what nobody else would. So I hear, at least I got Nathan suspended. Dude, you are a boss. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together, cool? Uh, I have something to show you. Meet me in front campus. Get that ass in gear now, and then it says Max. Okay. Okay. So, do we have any other messages? Okay. So, um, yeah, we've got this one. So, hey Max, don't want to bother you. Just check and see how you are. I know today was hard, but you did more than anybody else could have to help Kate. I'm proud of you. And please, I uh, no worries about getting to the going to the drive-in but if you want to escape to a planet apes let's go and if you need to talk i'm always here thanks warren i'm still processing nathan got suspended at least i'll call you later okay okay we've got messages from mom max please call us as soon as you can we know this is painful and we want to know how you are so please please get in touch and if you want to come and spend some time back home the door is open and your bed is made we love you i'll call you tonight anyway uh, I'll call you right away, I love you. It was so good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. You were there for your friend when she had nobody else and Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You're our hero and we love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime if you need to talk or visit. Okay. Um, okay, so we got a new message here. So it's... Uh, Hey whore, femina feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out, oh my god. Okay. Alright. So any more? Nope, that's it. Okay, cool. So, at least maybe the principal? Is that the principal? I don't principal know. Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Um, okay, can we look at him? He totally would have saw us. Miss Caulfield, you have Oops. to be stealthier than that. <laughs> You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. He's drunk. You tried to help, but... God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Hmm. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Okay, uh, I think we need to rewind time to when he was uh, messing about with the door with these back turns okay more all right okay let's go i know i have a set of keys on me somewhere ah gotcha max the ninja strikes again okay there we go there we go we're a genius a genius, I tell ya. Okay, so we've got to meet, um, Chloe, so let's see. Booyah! Oh my god, I actually jumped. Get it? <laughs> Booyah. Oh my like god, that scared me. We're like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm, I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. 
We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Hmm. Don't joke. I'm not really feeling our jokes right now. Please don't joke about this, Chloe. Not right now. Max, I'm not laughing at you. My old counselor told me that my sarcasm was a way of avoidance. That's why he's my ex-counselor. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Okay, clues about Kate. I, came mo I care more about Kate than I do about Rachel, so clues about Kate. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Hmm... Yes. Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. The Blackwell security officer even hits his own stepdaughter. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Mm. Alive. Do you, do you think she's... I'm going to say alive. I think that would be the right answer. Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> you're so cute. Alright, so what I think we're going to do is we're actually going to... Thank you again so much for helping me put together oh, a football Oh, okay, we're not going to end it here. Hopefully we're not. the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie. Oh, shut up. I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from... Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Oh. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... She is such a me? horrible person. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Okay, so... I think it's time to end this part. I'm Chloe the Keymaster. You know it.
Dude, gosh, I keep on going on and on. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to end this part here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like and thanks if you did. And let me know what you think. And I will speak with you all soon. Bye, everyone.